All right, everybody, what's going on? Arclad back with a new up, new edition of the Arcade Corner. I got a guest with me, my mate, my boy. What do I call you this time? Uh, Jeremy's fine. Okay, we'll go with Jeremy. We are looking at Aliens Arcade. Got some old school goodness going again. Yep. This is based off the film, classic film Aliens, mm -hmm. where... You play as Gorney Weaver in this. As uh, what was her character's name? Ripley, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Ellen Ripley, the badass herself. Yes. This is off of the second movie, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually debating whether to jump to look through the movies again before I did this, but I don't think it's really absolutely necessary. And knowing uh, most video games, I'm sure it uh, doesn't quite follow the plot considering she's already blown about 15 aliens to pieces and doesn't quite work that way in the movie. Yeah, that doesn't come... They usually come until way later. And that's that little girl. Yeah, she's, she's already saved Newt also. Yeah. Oh, look, she's just Newt. <laughs> She's just running a room and around, carrying her bunny kind of, uh, with her and, you know... Not yeah. being hurt. <laughs> if there had been this many aliens in the movie, it would have been an absolute shitstorm. Oh, yeah. And already, yes. I think we're coming upon uh first boss fight right here. Oh, well, that's, that's new. I, I don't remember anything like that in the movie. Oh, you don't? No. Well, that could have, yeah. <laughs> a little creative freedom there, maybe? Looks like uh, you're gonna make short work of them, though. Oh yeah, I love I love the, the you know the spread shot. With, oh my god! <laughs> I spoke too soon. You almost forgot R it did that. Whenever R he gets real desperate, spreader. he'll throw like he'll throw crap like this, even though it didn't lost his head. And there he's gone. <laughs> I do like the way it went from uh, side scrolling to like over the shoulder third person style almost. Yeah. Kind of on rails, though. A little bit, yeah. This it'll do this, um, I believe, uh, more than once throughout this uh, throughout this game. Yeah. Pretty good stuff, though, for uh, 1985. Yeah, I believe if you did play two player, the only other person you have is like some soldier that helps assist you. Uh, maybe the android or someone else. Mm, something like that. And there's the girl. Whoa! Flying aliens. Yeah, that was in the movie, wasn't it? Or was it? No. no. There's no flying aliens <laughs> in, uh, in any of the alien franchises. You have oh. your uh, you have your face crawlers, and you have the queen, and then your regular Joe Schmo, big old black aliens. Which obviously the queen is about to be the final boss. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that's a given. Oh, ooh, the oh. missiles. That's I like don't remember a rocket trailer. launcher from the movie either. <laughs> but, I mean... Hey, I'm not knocking it. <laughs> if it, it works, like it... if it blows them all to hell, I don't give a shit. <laughs> it, uh, it made your life a little bit easier, it looks like. Hey, yeah, this is, this is Button Masher Supreme right here. Oh, yeah, big time. Alright, now be honest. You playing on uh, normal or easy? Uh, whatever setting it normally is. Normal? Yeah. With it being arcade, yeah. Well, I guess you got, uh, unlimited continues anyway, since... Emulation. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's a bit of a given there. Gosh, imagine... I know you remember back in the day dumping endless amounts of quarters into games and... Absolutely. All the time. About, about ten dollars later, you might be at the final boss and <laughs> yeah especially if you didn't know what you were doing yeah what was your uh number one quarter eater growing up you think um that's a toughie uh i would probably have to say maybe the simpsons arcade you know i 
The Simpsons was one of the first that came to mind for me too. But uh, then I thought about something else, and it was the uh, Sunset Riders. Is that right? Oh yeah, that's another one. Oh definitely. The one with the cowboys. Yeah, that, man, I played the crap out of that one. Yeah, that was another great classic. Oh, I hate those. They're trying to they're trying to uh, like stomp the crap out of the elevator and, and like cut the cables. That'll no, mess you. If if you it if it falls, you pretty much can't. will lose a life. Yeah. It looked like they were kind of dancing up there. Yeah, I know. And they will. I can't remember if I actually let's see if I actually make ma manage to keep it together or not. Uh. Oh, that's God Almighty, that's cutting it close right there. You know, it's oh, kind okay, of funny man. that they, uh, they made the aliens pink instead of black. I, I, think they... there, I think there are some black aliens in this, oh, but okay. yeah, mostly, yeah, they made them pink. I don't know why. Yeah, that, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Well, here's a black one. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's not an alien, though. Some kind of... Ooh! Ooh, nasty. Nasty slime, get away. <laughs> Them homing missiles, man. Damn yeah, missiles. Yeah, you're, you're rocking it out. Oh, oh there he is. Next boss! Oh. Okay, well... That kind of looks a little bit more like your traditional alien, but... A little more... I don't know. You don't recognize this one, do you? Oh no, definitely not any any movie related uh, enemy going on here. Right. <laughs> I'm just trying to right now. I'm just trying to make sure to keep him away. Oh crap! You're doing pretty good so far. You're about what one hit away, maybe? Probably. Oh, yep, oh there. And there it goes. Damn. Back, back to the pellet gun. Back to the pea shooter. Get him, Ripley. Oh, I wonder no, if Sigourney seriously. Weaver got a cut of this, uh... If it, uh, using her likeness. I don't know. That'd be a good question. Oh, he's turning colors, and... Dad. In classic video game fashion, the closer to death they are, the brighter red they become. Oh, that was only a mini-boss. <laughs> Well. Okay, we have zombies now. That's... I don't think we had zombies. No. Oh, half zombies. Crawlers. This has gone from Alien to Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> it's a crossover. Yeah. Ridley Scott, take notes. <laughs> Yeah, Especially really if you're looking, gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to his upcoming uh, movie. The the origins behind the aliens is going to be revealed, finally. Oh, wow. Took long enough. Ow. Yeah. 30 years or so, why not? Might as well finally uh, tell how the alien came about. I don't know if you've ever seen Prometheus, but... I haven't, actually. Not yet. It, uh... At the very end of the movie, you finally see, like, partially where the alien comes from. Mm. It's actually a, uh, like, genetic creation. Oh, we got this, this nasty machine right here. Yeah, the badass, uh, lifter. In the movie, it's, like, used for moving freight and stuff, and... Yeah. Gee as is well known uses it in the big final battle with the alien at the end and throws mama queen out the spaceship which i'm sure that's bound to be bound to happen here oh yeah i mean if you're going to take one thing from the movie take the giant mech fighting the giant alien i always hate these little critters you want to see the worst version of the face crawler in a video game? Play Alien Isolation. <laughs> Man. 
you'll barely hear them coming and all of a sudden you're already like sneaking around hiding from the alien and suddenly a freaking face crawler comes flying at you from around the corner that game bursting out just busting out of their chests and coming at you just like that that, that game is scary as crap Probably my favorite scary game of all time. Are you scarier than Five Nights at Freddy's? Nothing scarier than Five Nights. No, that's just a jump scare. Those, those don't really do much for me. They're yeah, just, it's just, just kind cheap, of annoying. It's just cheap jump scares. That's all it is. Yeah. And kids love them though. Good grief! What have they I made know. about five of those now? Oh well. Go on, talk about going completely dark there. What in the heck? am I looking at? Uh, uh, there's that. Giant worm ball monster shooting stuff with, at me? With, with pink tentacle light form? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> this, is going, this is going like down some weird anime tropes all of a sudden. <laughs> If you can call it that, <laughs> I, I I'm at a loss for words here. That's, <laughs> I have a feeling it's just gonna get weirder. All them eggs to keep shooting out. Like what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Ow! Yeah, I'm it's not hard. sure where you're supposed to dodge that. Just best you can. And the head's gone. And it's oh. just. Oh, back to the rail. Back to the rail shooting. So how many levels is this? Like three or four? Oh, throughout the whole game? Yeah. I think it's about five or six. Yeah, that's not bad. Fair or decent amount. For an arcade game, it actually seems to be kind of unforgiving. Or not as unforgiving as some of the others that were. Oh, yeah. Used to. Are you gonna be dying every five seconds? Hey, what's hey. up, Newt? Finally got her. Oh, uh, these. Uh oh. I was, the floor. I was expecting some uh, Legend of Zelda drop from the ceiling stuff going on. Yeah, instead they actually come up through the floor, not down. <laughs> Ooh, acid. Okay, this, this is what I don't get. It opens the hole, and then it just shuts. <laughs> the floor that's, heals itself. That's not how acid works! <laughs> that's how video games work. Uh, yeah. And your spreader, or your homing rockets were not doing a good job there. Oh, what wow. the heck? This got balls! Another weird ass mini boss. Oh, this is the first time you encounter him either. There's gonna be another time you have to deal with this, with this weird freak. I don't know. I almost. How are you meant to dodge this shit? It, this is this is what's known as a quarter eater boss. Obviously. Yeah, the, there's no dodging. It's enough to do what I'm already doing here. I mean, god dang. In a weird way, I would have liked to see this thing in the movie. <laughs> Maybe they'll put it in the new film? I don't know. <laughs> I, no. No, no. no way. <laughs> I don't know about all that, but just, uh, you know, somewhere in the background, giant egg ball sack monster. Something. I don't, I don't know if it's... That's a new one. Okay, now we're we've gone from pink to purple to red aliens, and still and one, no black ones. And, 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 and ones that are like constantly crawling out from underneath, or turning into those little guys, like those right there, those little worm freak or whatever's. Yeah. 
Oh no, it's the tr it's the trimmers. <laughs> Making a guest appearance in Alien. I know. Well, what do they call the uh, the monsters and trimmers? Uh, crow yeah. boys. Or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, the, the giant worms with the tentacles. All right, you see you see that you see that map up there? Oh that's yeah. How you, that's how you know they're when they're where they're gonna come out from. Oh yeah, it's the uh, it's the little scanner radar from the movie. Yeah, you have to use that thing extensively in Alien Isolation to keep track of uh, Big Mamma Jamma when he's near you. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool how they actually put that in. I think this is the only spot, the only time in this game they actually implement the map. Is that thing? Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, you got him. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was gonna come from underneath, but he came out from the side. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I think they should have done a little bit more of this to the game. It adds an interesting, like, dynamic to it. Well, if at the very least they do mix and match stuff all around. Yeah. Granted, yeah, you're right. They could have done more. I mean, it, it is 85. You're not going to get with so much. But this was back when Konami was at top of its game, or working its way to its top. Well, yeah. Definitely not the terrible Konami that we know nowadays. Oh my god. I'm not even going to go there. Yeah, it's... Oops. You know things are bad when they're more worried about making pachinko machines than they are video games. Pretty much. Next thing you know, you're gonna see alien pachinko machines. Damn you know, it, I just gave him an idea. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if those already exist. Cause... Yeah... You know how Japan is. I mean, you got but... alien pinball, so why not pachinko? Yeah, definitely. Whatever they can cash on it. Oh, there's them egg sacks. Oh, we can't forget those little egg sacks. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, the actual term for those is. I'm just calling them egg sacks. Uh, hey, if any, anybody watching this know what the proper term is, list it in the comments, please. Oh, I had something good! Oh, uh, the flamethrower! You, you briefly had the most OP weapon in the franchise. Oh... Very briefly. Yeah. And next, well, someone boss. Yeah, you could have really used that flamethrower for this one. Yes, I could. They start out small. I, I don't think they had something like these in here. It's like they start off small and then they just nope. get bigger and bigger as you shoot them and then they finally explode. Like, what the uh, hell is that? Are they, these supposed to be called? I don't know. The hoppers? Little big hoppers. Are... They're, they're little big hoppers. That's what we'll call them. These are looking like uh, <laughs> something else from a different horror franchise. Um, I'm trying to think which one it would be. Like... I don't know. It, it, it just seems like they might have stolen that one from something. I'm, I'm not sure what. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't quite put it. It, it looks either. kind of familiar. So you don't have any kind of a uh, nuke all button? They're rare. Oh, yeah. Oh, got a one up. There we go. You know how in most games like this, you get some kind of super ability that kills everything on screen? Yeah. You would think that, but it's not always the case. Whoa! Nice now we time. gotta watch out for lightning! Purple lightning. That's just, that's great. Actually, I think we're coming upon... Uh, after this little stretch here, it probably won't be long before we get to... Mama Queen. Mama Queen, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember any uh, outdoor areas with 
lightning either in giant factories. I think that's but, just uh, something for effect that they're adding for this. Yeah, I mean, you're coming up on the final boss. You got to build atmosphere a little. How bit. about aliens that, you know, specify lightning capabilities? <laughs> and are having bad hair days. Yeah. Too much static shock. <laughs> I don't know. This boss doesn't seem as bad as some of the other ones. Pretty easy to dodge. At first. Oh. Well, I spoke too soon. They one-shot you. <laughs> did you have full life to get grief? I don't think I did. I think I had a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, I take almost half life. Yeah. Oh god! Ow! Now you've got problems. Yeah. Kill it! Kill it with fire! I was, to, I was just trying to kill it as quick as I could. Before it, get it got any more crazier. Oh, come on! Damage boost. <laughs> Good grief. That was nice. Uh oh, there go the alarms. Oh, self destruct initiate. Of course, it don't give me. It don't Five give me no T minus yet. <laughs> I think in the movie, she gets uh, 10 minutes, and then the computer goes crazy, and it cuts it down to 5 minutes. Oh, shit. Because, you know, what's a horror movie without a rogue AI? Oh, of course. Oh, no! Why did it disappear? Man. Son of a they bitch! Really, they really tease you with that flamethrower. Oh, my God, yeah, they do. Oh, extra life. Probably would have been nice to have earlier. I mean, stocking up for, uh... For this? Hey, you know things are about to get bad when they throw one-ups at you. Yeah, I... here goes about three dollars and quarters. Yeah, I think this, this is... Well, I guess that's the queen right there, at least part of her. Yep, that's the queen. With her big, uh, little, like, white blobby egg sac thing hanging down. Which and you have to, you have to, yeah, shoot all that off while you're trying to keep these guys off of you and these egg sacs away because they just keep coming back. Well, I'm assuming at some point here she's going to get up and start coming after you. Uh... Yep. Here... Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, yep. A few more here. aliens to kill. Yeah. The, now, yeah, the place is starting to, uh, starting to come apart now. So we have now slime comes... alien monsters to deal with first, though. Yep. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah, Damn those flying it. ones. Not cool. Oof. Yeah, here goes all your pocket change for the next month. <laughs> Good thing I saved up for it. <laughs> been saving all week so I can go beat the alien arcade machine. It's like my one true purpose in life right now is, is conquering this game. <laughs> and you always get the power-ups like right before dying. I know. Remember when I said that it wasn't the first time you deal with this? Oh, yeah. here comes Mr. Cheap Ass. He comes back again. Ow! Yep, there it went. <sighs> You got about two hits on him. You got sent to relegation and you're stuck with the pea shooter again. Cinderella well, seems... Cinder relegation. No, sent to relegation. Oh, I thought you said Cinderella. I was like, what? <laughs> no, no Cinderella story. I've never here. heard of that. I've never even heard of it. It's like, that's a word. <laughs> Okay. This one seems to at least be dodgeable, though, compared to the last one. Unless he's yeah. about to pull an asshole. Oh. Yeah, that guy was actually manageable. Oh, there's the spaceship taking off. But, of course, we're going to have a, uh extra passenger along oh! the way. Oh! Yep. Right there! Instant death. <laughs> Quick, get to the chopper! Oh wait, wrong movie. <laughs> and 
And she is kicking your ass. Yeah, of course she's cheap as all get out. Oh my god, damn! Do you get the robot back? Okay, good. Yeah, of I was course. About to say, if, if you have to pea shoot or her, you're in for some trouble. Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> nice! God dang it. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to spit fire or something. I was supposed to be able to at least. What, the robot? Yeah. No. No fire spitting. She beats her in the movie by squishing her and throwing her out the airlock. Which I'm assuming that's what the giant airlock is right beside you. Yeah. Yeah, this is another one of those situations where, you know, it's crucial, but at the same time, it's the final boss, and you know there's going to be a quarter munch in, like, like, no tomorrow. Yeah. Oh! Let's open it up. Oh, here it comes. You God see, dang it! <laughs> I am I am kind of impressed with the, uh, with oh, the shoot. model. Oh, oh, got him, got him! Pick her up! Pick her up! Breathe it! Throw her! Oh, nice! Throw the bitch! Yeah! Is it gonna grab you? Nope. Nope. It's gone. <laughs> bye bye. Vanishes while I trace. See you in Aliens 3. <laughs> I know, right? And that is it. That is Aliens Arcade. Hope you've all enjoyed that. That was a fun little experience, and um, expect to see more Alien games coming in the near future. Jeremy, nice. it's been a blast. Oh yeah, Hope you definitely. And uh, yeah, might have you on for some more later on. All right, well played. Thank you. Well, that's it. I'm Mark Led, and I'm signing out for this edition of the Arcade Corner. Take care, and if you like what you've seen, leave a. Uh, like, fave, comment, feedback is always welcome. If you have a suggestion of what game you want to see, please listen to comments below and I'll take it into consideration. Until then, I'm signing out, so take care and keep on gaming. Peace out. <laughs>